Hello everyone. I figured it was time to do a Civilization VI uh, playthrough video. Uh, I'm going to be playing on the uh, default game. This is the summer 2017 uh, patch level. Uh, so I'm just going to go in here and make sure I've got all of the mods disabled. I do. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, set up a game. So I'm going to use basically the default random stuff, uh, standard speed on continents, and I'm going to go for a standard size map. Uh, I don't know why it defaults to small, but uh, it, it does. Uh, I'm not going to change anything in the advanced settings here. I often disable the score victory in the turn limit, but I'm not going to here. And I often mess with the uh, world settings here a bit, but I'm not going to here either. Uh, so anyway, uh, this gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight civil eight major civilizations on in the world, and twelve city states. So I'm going to start the game, and it's going to take a while to load. Civilization VI is quite a lot slower than Civilization V on the same hardware. Oh, we've rolled uh, England uh, and Victoria, so that's that's actually quite good uh, for a continents map. Uh, and this is actually really good for a cultural victory. Uh, is we can uh, get uh, twice as many archaeological uh, ar artifacts into a museum. And uh, that's, uh, that's quite good if you're going for tourism. Uh, also, the uh, red coat is a pretty decent unit. And the, uh, th the uh, ability that, uh, that England has, that uh, if you found a city on another continent than where your home, uh, your capital is, uh, you get a free melee unit. Uh, and that would be the red coat after military science is uh, researched. And... And that's actually a really powerful feature, although it can get you in trouble if you expand too fast. Anyway, start the game. Uh, now this is the type of start that was really, really annoying in Civilization V because uh, you, your capital would be one tile away from the ocean and therefore you could never build ships in your capital. Uh, that's not the case here. Um, so I can actually settle on this hill, which is actually advantageous, um, uh, and uh, later build a harbor, uh, and uh, that will allow me to build ships in the capital. Uh, so I, so in Civilization V, I would have moved one tile down to here to settle, but I'll just settle right here, and that gets me the sheep um, uh, immediately in range and. Uh, you know, wheat will be in range. So that's actually uh, pretty decent. I'm going to turn on yield icons here just because it's a little clearer what's doing. Anyway, I'll settle on that first tile. Uh, now I'm going to uh, send my uh, warrior out here and just explore a little bit. Now, uh, the first thing to build here, ideally I'd like to build a settler, but I can't do that just yet because uh, I need a population of two. Uh, I could build a monument for the culture, and that uh, could be a good choice, but instead I'm going to build a warrior. I need to make sure that, uh, that I defend my uh, capital and my settlers when I build them. Uh, barbarians can be quite uh, nasty in the early game. Uh, now, also, I need to choose research. Now, uh, you really do, as, at least on the lower difficulties like Prince, you really do want to go for a religion. It makes it a lot easier to defend against the AI's uh, religious spread without actually going to war if you don't want to. So that means you need to research astrology first. Because that's the only way you're going to get a religion. Either by building Stonehenge or a holy site. Now, I've got a good spot for a holy site here, 
uh, between these mountains, although uh, that could be problematic. Uh, I'm not sure if you can ch chop down forests right off the bat. I don't think you can. Anyway, uh, I still, I don't have stone, so I can't build Stonehenge. So there's no point worrying about that. So I will have to go the holy site route. So anyway, I'll, I'm moving along here. I'm going to try and move the game along fairly quickly here. Uh, and now I've got auto unit cycling turned off. And I have it turned off because I don't want to get whiplash with it moving between units. Uh, when I want to stay in a particular area and... Uh, deal with some stuff. I also have uh, a quick movement and quick combat on uh, and that greatly speeds up the game. Uh, if you're moving your units you really don't need the uh, uh, the slow uh, animation for the movement uh, and uh, you know the game doesn't focus on defensive battles and so on anyway, so there isn't really all that much uh, need to, uh, to, to do that anyway. Uh, now, you might miss some things that go on in a battle otherwise, but I find that for just moving the game along, especially in single player... Uh, there's really not all that much need for it. And I see we found a second continent, and that's actually quite good. Um, now, so let's take a look at the continent view here. Um, okay, so it looks like the continent break is at the mountains. So that's Pangea Ultima, and this is uh, Sumeria. Okay. So there's a continent over here. I see we've got a range of mountains here. That's uh, so I think it'd be good to uh, expand into here. Uh, is then I'm not going to get attacked from this direction. Um, okay, so uh, moving along here. Uh, I'm not going to go too much further with this warrior. A couple turns I'll have a warrior back in London. Uh, but I'm not going to go too much further with this warrior here. Uh, simply because I need to keep the warrior nearby to defend. And I want to uh, open up over here a bit. Uh, now I'm going to go for the uh, settler. Uh, I got decent production in London. So I'm going to get the settler out pretty quick. Um, okay, so I definitely want to come this way because we've got marble and citrus over here and we have whales right at London. So so that's actually quite good. I'm going to leave the uh, warrior in London. Uh, so I'm going to come up here up toward the coast and then I'll go back over. Uh, and I really do want to get a... Ah, America's in the game. Okay, let's find out where they're... Okay, they're way down there. Okay. Well, not way down there. They're just over here. Uh, so I'm going to be uh, competing with uh, the Americans for uh, land. That's okay early on. They're, they're generally fairly peaceful early on. Uh, but... Uh, you do kind of want to pay attention to that because you don't want the American uh, Empire there to uh, to get a, a snowball on you. Anyway, uh, my uh, second city I'm going to dump down over here, I think, uh, on the uh, river. Uh, right, so I'm going to bring this guy all the way over here. Haven't seen any barbarians yet, and that's kind of worrying. It means they're probably camping out over here. Um, okay, sending a delegation. I usually accept the delegations uh, from the AI. That's a small gold boost, uh, but uh, other, otherwise it's uh, pretty much harmless anyway. Uh, 
Okay, so now I have Code of Laws. That's the first uh, Civic. Uh, there's two trees in Civ 6, uh, Civics and Tex. Uh, so this is actually good because it allows us to actually get some policy cards in. Now I want to go, go for Early Empire right off. Is that's what allows my borders to be enforced. See how they're, they're a dotted line here? That means they're open to everybody. So now I'm... Uh, your default uh, government type is chiefdom, your, your early one, and it doesn't really have any particular benefits to it. So I'm, you know, I don't have any recon units. I could build scouts, but I don't really see the point. Uh, so the strength against barbarians, though, that is quite useful. Uh, adding uh, production in all cities is actually the one I usually go for at this point as well. Uh, so if, if I was really short on gold, uh, God King is okay, but this I think is what a lot of people are going to do right off the bat. Now the key there is you can only change those for free once on the turn when you research a civic. So uh, any other time you have to, you can only do it once per turn and you have to pay uh, some amount of gold to do it. So if you have the gold to burn, you can change your poli government policy cards whenever you want. So anyway, moving along, a couple turns, I'm going to have that settler uh, uh, show up. So I'll be able to add a city. Um, and uh, here we go. And now I've got astrology right at the same time. Uh, so that's good. I can change my production to a uh, holy site uh, now. Uh, it allows chopping woods f with mining. So yeah, I'm going to go with mining and then we'll go in here. Uh, where can I build a holy site? So it's plus two here. You know what? I'll, I'll do it right there. I'll I'll bite the bullet, I'll buy the tile, and I'll build the holy site there. That delays getting uh, a builder, but uh, that we can uh, tolerate that. Now I'm going to defend, um, stack these, and I'm going to send my uh, uh, settler. Now the, these the suggestions are not actually that bad. Uh, if I uh, put the city here, I can still reach the coast. Uh, and I get a fair chunk. I can reach a fair bit here. So I'm actually going to take that recommendation. Uh, I often don't, but I'm going to this time. Oh, so there's stone over here. Okay. Um, Right. Now, if you get a really good start with stone and really good production in your capital, uh, going for Stonehenge is actually a good option. Yeah, we'll take friendship uh, uh, early on. Uh, friendship is actually useful with your neighbors because while you have a declaration of friendship, neither side can declare war on the other. So that's good. So anyway... Uh, so I probably want to come this way for a uh, for my next settler um, because this gets onto a different continent. So here is the home continent. Here is the other one. So along this river would be perfect. Um, okay. And apparently Egypt is in. Uh, and where is Egypt? Oh, and Poland as well. Now, okay, so, and a city-state. Uh, so, oh, Egypt is over down there. Okay, so there's a city-state over here. That's actually nice, so I won't be competing for this spot too hard. Um, okay. And, uh, inspiration for... Uh, military tradition. Okay. Uh, those little uh, quests from the city-states will get you an envoy, and uh, envoys are uh, what uh, replaces influence in, from Civ 5. Okay, now I'm going to put my city down here. 
Uh, and I am going to, what am I going to do here? It looks to me like a builder would be a very good idea here. But I'm going to start with a monument. Uh, I, I don't want to get too far behind on culture. I'm going to leave the warrior there. Uh, if you get too far behind on culture, it can be really uh, uh, difficult to uh, to catch up again. Uh, so, uh, and you get behind on the uh, civics because it's your culture points per turn that get you your uh, civics. Um, okay, so um, over here. Uh, well, let's see. I'm, I'm going to wander around over here a bit, open this up a bit, and see what's there. Uh, I think I'll build another settler in London. Yeah, we'll take the uh, friendship with Poland right off. I don't want an early war here. So I'm actually going for a more peaceful victory here. Uh, it takes uh, a concerted effort to... Uh, to actually win a uh, uh, a domination or military victory uh, on a uh, map of any particular size. Um, right, so state workforce has, we have an inspiration there. Those, uh, pretty much everything on both tech trees has... Uh, uh, something that will boost it. Uh, so there's a bunch of little mini quests you can do. So I'm going to uh, go for animal husbandry because that'll let me improve the sheep. And uh, that's actually uh, useful. You see, they're already a decent tile at two food, two productions here, and three food, one production there. Uh, Okay, so now I have a choice here. I could go for Holy Site Prayers and get to a great profit faster, or I can go for a Settler. So I'm going to take a look at uh, the great people here. Uh, nobody else is on their way to a great profit yet. So the question is, do I want to burn four turns on the Holy Site Prayers or build a Settler? Or I could build a shrine. I'm going to build a settler. Um, okay, so I'm going to start bringing this guy back around here. Uh, okay, so the uh, barbarian went away. I'm just going to park the uh, warrior again. I want to get uh, five or six cities out uh, if I can. Unlike in Civilization V, there isn't a severe penalty for having five or six or seven cities. So, uh, you know, you do have the problem with happiness, which is uh, dealt with by amenities in Civilization VI. Uh, amenities are an interesting mechanic. Uh, they're not as complicated as they look, though. Uh, and they're probably better than most other um, happiness mechanics that Civilization has had. And amenities don't do the thing like you get in Civ Five, where you suddenly end up with 100 million happiness points and you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. Um, okay, so I might as well take some pot shots at that Barbarian there. Uh, you know, get some experience for the Warrior. Uh, right, so moving along. You may have noticed that I'm not, you know, doing min-maxing or whatever on the uh, cities or whatever. Uh, the city governors are generally fairly uh, competent, uh, f especially on uh, Prince, uh, where you're not really competing all that hard with the AI, um, since it doesn't actually get any benefits, or at least it's not supposed to get any cheat benefits uh, at the Prince difficulty. Uh, at least if what I've read is accurate. So anyway, uh, back to amenities. Well, first of all, I need to pick what I'm going to do here. Uh, pottery um, will get me up toward irrigation. And uh, then once I have irrigation, I'll have all of the basic uh, tile improvements. Anyway, amenities. 
Uh, each amenity uh, keeps um, keeps your it keeps two citizens uh, happy, and uh, each uh, city is get, gets two citizens for free, basically. Uh, each uh, luxury resource provides four amenities, but only it can only provide one amenity per city. So uh, each uh, luxury resource will provide one amenity for up to four cities. You don't get to choose which cities those are. Uh, and then you've got the entertainment uh, district and the buildings in there that will add amenities. There are some social policies that do, and there are some religious beliefs that do. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to go for irrigation there. Uh, I'm not up to enough to buy a builder yet. Um, again, I'm going to accept the trade delegation. A couple more turns, I'll be able to, to pop up a builder. Uh, and then, uh, next thing I should research is um, uh, the, um, the, the boats one. Um, seafaring. Uh, so that I can uh, uh, improve the whales, because I'm going to need them. Okay, so I've got my settler. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take a look here actually. Uh, great profit. I'm at 12 points. Somebody's recruiting. So um, the shrine might be worth it actually. I should get a uh, Pantheon uh, next turn turn actually if I'm not this turn I'm gonna do the holy site prayers uh, I want to get a religion out ASAP now uh, this one here is that's on the other continent that one there and that gets me Jade yeah I'm gonna go there so I'm doing it there because I get the uh, housing benefit of the river uh, Anyway, uh, that's going to get me my third city. Uh, and I need to uh, get out at least one more, probably two or three if I can. Uh, having more cities will uh, allow you to compete better. Um, okay, so I could go for a granary, but I'm actually going for a builder here. Because I want to improve these wheat tiles. Uh, now, compared to Civilization V and previous civilizations, there's no more infinite contracts for uh, your uh, workers. Instead, you've got builders, uh, which have three charges. So they can do three improvements, and then they're done. Okay, now, here's the, the Pantheon thing. Now, if I go for Divine Spark on the Pantheon, I'll get my great profit faster, but also earn uh, great scientists and uh, great writers faster. So that's good. Uh, River Goddess, see, that's one of the ones. Amenities, if the holy district is, a holy site's adjacent to a river. Um, I don't generally go for that one because I don't build a lot of holy sites generally. Um, what I usually go for is Divine Spark. Uh, there are some situationally really good ones here. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, they've backed off the uh, strength of Dance of the Aurora, Desert Folklore, um, it, compared to Civilization V, where it only applies to uh, adjacency for holy sites instead of all the tiles. Um, now, if I had a lot of uh, marsh, oasis, oasis, and floodplains, uh, Lady of the Reeds and Marshes could be a good choice. Uh, God of the Sea could be a good choice if you have a lot of sea resources. But, uh, you know, and Faith from Quarries can be really good. The Stone Circles can be really good if you have a lot of uh, resources that would be improved with quarries. So marble and stone. And these other ones uh, can also be uh, reasonably good. Um, 
but for the most part, I find that Divine Spark is probably a decent default. So I'm going to use that uh, Pantheon, and founding the Pantheon gives you a boost on mysticism. So that's one of those uh, mini quests. Uh, okay, so uh, okay, my warriors healed up here. I'm just going to move out here. There's got to be a barbarian camp somewhere around here, so I'm going to go looking for it. Uh, and hopefully there's no barbarians hanging about over here to take my settler. That's a bad move to uh, do do what I'm doing there. Uh, you certainly wouldn't do that on a higher level. So I got a promotion up for this guy coming up, but I think I'll kill that uh, barbarian first. Well, he suicided, so I don't have to. Uh, so I'll take the... Um, now the defense against range attacks is really great, uh, especially when you're uh, uh, attacking a city. So I did the holy site prayers. Now where am I? So 31 of 60 on the prophet. If I do that one more time, that'll get me real close. Uh, somebody's built the hanging gardens. Nobody's built Stonehenge yet uh, that I've noticed. Uh, the AI will run for Stonehenge if it can, uh, so uh, that is definitely worth uh, uh, considering there. Oh, it looks like we've got truffles over here too. This is actually a pretty good start uh, as uh, far as uh, luxury resources go. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to put my city there. And now I've got six citizens, so that means uh, I get the boost for early empire, which is nice. Um, now, uh, here I'm also going to build the uh, monument. Now, uh, so I've got early empire done now. Uh, what I want to do is, uh, uh, now if I run for theology, that allows me to build uh, temples uh, right away. Uh, and political philosophy will allow me to uh, select a better government. So uh, which one do I go for? Well, I'm actually going to go for political philosophy. Uh, so now that I've found it, uh, I'm going to be able to found a religion. I'm so far ahead on the great prophet, it's not likely the others are going to be taken before then. So, um, okay, so here's that free uh, melee unit because the city's on a different continent. Uh, and that is the, uh, that's the English ability right there. So I'm just going to leave that guy there. Uh, open borders, I pretty much never accept. I don't want the AI wandering around in my, uh, my empire. Uh, now, in Civ 6, if you declare war on somebody, do a surprise war or whatever, while your units are in their territory, you get kicked back to their border, so it's not quite as bad. You can't just declare a surprise war with your units already in place. And there's that barbarian camp I knew had to be there. Uh, probably I, I can drop an, another city right over here. Uh, okay, so now I have a choice here. I said I was going to go for sa oh, sailing is what it is. Uh, I really should go for sailing so that I can get uh, improve this thing here. Uh, now, what I should do, I can actually buy a builder now. Uh, so I'm going to buy one and improve the jade there uh, so that I don't end up with uh, uh, running out of uh, amenities in your capital. I think the palace gives you one amenity. Uh, so I'm going to, in Bristol, uh, buy a builder. Uh, I'm going to take this guy up here. I'm going to take out that uh, camp there. Uh, there's somebody with Stonehenge. So a religion will probably be founded uh, right away here. Not yet. So they might not have a pantheon yet. Uh, anyway. Uh, with that plus five against barbarians, you can actually take these things out with a warrior. And uh, that's uh, definitely a lot better. Anyway, first of all, I'm going to improve the jade. That gives us a boost on the wheel. Uh, but that also gives us uh, a... Uh, 
Uh, well, let's take a look here. We get... Uh, uh, now we have an amenity coming from luxury resources and uh, uh, let's see right so uh, anyway uh, that will mean that we can get London up to uh, another uh, population level uh, over what we would have uh, before it went unhappy uh, right. Now, uh, I could go for another settler and get my cities out quick. Uh, or I can go for, uh, faith and culture and, and so on in London. What I've found is it's actually fairly easy to catch up, uh, if, in your capital, uh, once you get, uh, get your settlers out. Uh, so I'm going to... I uh, get another settler out. Uh, hmm, I might have to let that guy heal. Uh, okay. The horse archer. Well, I'm going to send the... Uh, I'm not going to do anything with that uh, horse archer. And sometimes you can't skip a turn even though you should be able to. Uh, which is really, really annoying. Um... Yeah, really annoying. Uh, now, is there anything? No, there's nothing else. Now, I did learn that shift enter will end the turn even if there's units waiting. Uh, and that allows me to uh, get past that. Um, okay, right. So I'm just going to uh, fortify that guy. Uh, I should back him off in case this thing attacks, but uh, I should be okay. Uh, right, okay, so I can put that guy back to uh, watch mode. Okay, I'm going to get a builder over here so I can go after these wheat tiles. Um, right, so what to build here? Um, well, uh, I think, I don't want to sprawl too much early on, so... I'm not going to build another settler. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build uh, a couple more uh, melee units in case I have to go to war. Um, okay, now I'll uh, improve the uh, sheep there. Um, I'll take a shot at the barbarian there. You, you know, whenever you, you can safely, you should take out the barbarians so you don't get swarmed. Anyway, I'll uh, improve some wheat here. Uh, this uh, city, Manchester here, should grow really nicely, what, especially once I improve the uh, wheat. Ooh, this is bad. It spawned a uh, archer, even though this guy uh, died. There's an archer there, and I can't run far enough away not to die. So I'm going to lose that warrior. Uh, anyway, I've got my great profit, so I'll recruit that. And here, I'm just going to clear the camp, uh, even, even though I know I'm going to lose that... Uh, okay, so uh, Buenos Aires, uh, I got a... Uh, I got a boost on uh, military tradition, right? That's what it wanted. So I'm going to lose this warrior, but I was going to lose it anyway, so I figured I might as well clear that uh, that camp. So I, I don't have anywhere anything I can do with that uh, builder that this guy doesn't make dangerous, so... I don't have anything useful to do there anyway, really, so... Uh, I'll probably leave the, uh, the builder there. Anyway, I'll... Uh, send the uh, prophet to the holy site you have to have the prophet on the holy site to uh, to actually uh, found a religion so this next turn i'll be founding a religion let's see uh, nobody's founded one yet see there we go as i said i lost the uh, warrior uh anyway uh so that's uh another uh, wheat improved 
uh, and then I guess I'll I'll improve this one over here. Uh, so anyway, I'll uh, found a religion. Now I get to choose the 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 religion. So here we go. And if you recognize that, good on you. If you don't, go go do a search for it and uh, watch the uh, uh, watch some of the videos on, especially the Civilization Five videos on that YouTube channel. Uh, that's uh, the Door Monster YouTube channel. Okay, so I've got my uh, uh, my uh, beliefs to choose here. Here's one of those amenity things. Uh, so, I could uh, go for shrines and temples providing housing, or I could go for reliquaries here, which is relics providing more faith and tourism. That's uh, not so useful, really. Uh, food from uh, shrines and temples, but I've got a good start for uh, food-bearing tiles, so it's not going to be so beneficial. I don't have any world wonders, and it's not really a wonders game for make or break in Civilization uh, VI. But if you had, if you'd got Stonehenge and you founded your religion on, you know, from because of Stonehenge, that would be a decent choice. Uh, uh, the uh, work ethic one is actually not bad, uh, but the amenity uh, with two, in cities with two specialty districts, so that's holy sites, commercial hubs, industrial zones, that sort of thing. That's one more amenity. That's two more population for the city. So I'm going to go for that one. And there's a whole bunch of beliefs in here. Uh, the buildings. Uh, buildings are not bad, but uh, you know, meeting house is actually kind of nice. But if you're not going to be building uh, holy sites all over, they're kind of take it or leave it. Uh, these other beliefs, they're somewhat situational. But uh, generally, they're okay. Uh, tithe isn't a bad one, but uh, if you don't have anything else, that's that's good. Um, I usually go for scripture for the stronger uh, passive religion spread. Uh, if your cities are really spread out, uh, itinerant preachers is good. Uh, you know th those two are, are pretty good and if you're going to be doing uh, a religious victory uh, monastic isolation is good if you're going to be doing religious combat uh, but I'm, I'm going for scripture here so I'll found the religion and uh, that gets a boost on theology and uh, that's the first religion so we had a choice of everything which is uh, kind of nice uh, okay, I'm going to uh, put that guy away, and uh, what to do? You know, I will put a mine on that hill. Anyway, uh, oh, because I'm weak, apparently. Uh, so I do need to uh, get my uh, uh, army out there. Uh, so now I can actually uh, improve the whales there. But now I'm going for uh, archery, and then I'm going for masonry so I can build walls. Anyway. Uh, uh, now I need to focus a little bit on military tech. Uh Okay, so I'll uh, finish that. So Manchester here has good growth potential. So uh, I'll uh, hopefully it will. Uh, like once the population starts getting up, it should it should snowball a bit. Uh, right, I can't uh, buy a, another builder. So okay, so I'm going to. Uh, venture out there and uh, uh, try and run interference out here because I'm going to take my settler over this way uh, anyway so out here ah there's the uh, archer so that uh, is inconvenient because everybody's on hills so it's still in range uh, 
I'm going to see what I can do here. Uh, this might be a bit risky. But I need to kill that archer. That's the key. So I got a promotion there. Uh, and that's good. So I will take it and take... Okay, there, America set up here. Grab the citrus. Um, right, okay. So, uh, I'm going to build another warrior here. I'm going to send this guy over here. And this one, I can grab defending against ranged attacks. That'll give me a better shot there. And I built a monument there. I am going to build a warrior there. Uh, so I'm going to have a stack of warriors uh, kicking about. And then I'll build uh, uh, a couple of uh, uh, archers. Uh, now, uh, I could go for bronze working. That'll reveal iron. That's probably useful. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Uh, and where to go with uh, that one? Anyway, um, I'm going to build a trader, actually. I got room for a trade route. Uh, I definitely want that. Nine turns for political philosophy. Uh, okay, so it's suggesting here for a city. That... That might not be too bad. That's a pretty safe city. And then it means I won't have an AI pop up there. I'm going to go that way because I got that barbarian problem in the other direction. So I'm going to... Wow, that was a major victory? Really? See, that's, what, uh, that's the thing. Uh, the barbarians in this in Civ 6 are too strong uh, early on. Uh, like you cannot deal with them with, with the warriors um, effectively uh, if they get the uh, ranged units. So if he fires, I'm dead. Ooh, no. I'm not. But he fired, so that means he's going to be out of range next turn. So I'll uh, bring this guy home. Uh, is I really didn't want to lose another one. Um, yeah, we'll take the friendship with uh, Poland, so I'm not going to have a fight with them. Uh, I'm going to drop this uh, warrior back into the city uh, for protection and let him heal up. Uh, that's an important thing. You Make sure to, to heal your... Uh, well, probably a city-state's been killed here. Uh, make sure to heal your uh, your uh, military units. Okay, so I got bronze working. Uh, we didn't get an announcement of iron, but there is iron close to uh, London, so that's good. I'll be able to uh, to do swordsmen, so that's good. Uh, but uh, what I want here first is. Uh, masonry uh, for city walls. Now, uh, I could build archers, or I, or I could build an encampment here, which would be potentially good because I only have one source of iron, which will allow me to build the uh, iron-based units. But where would I... No, I'm not going to build that right away. Um, a couple of archers, I think, is what I'll, I'll build. Uh, okay, so now I can build a uh, trade route. Uh, I'm going to send it to Manchester. Uh, okay, that gets me a boost on currency. Uh, now, I think I'm going to... Uh, call this the end of the uh, part here. I'm going to try and keep this from running too long. Uh, call it an end probably in about 10 turns or so. Uh, okay, so here I'm going to... Uh, well, what am I going to do here? 
uh, I'm going to build a monument again. Now, America's going to whine. Uh, okay, so Poland's going to whine. Uh, wait, that's Polish, is it? Yeah, that's Polish. Okay. So, um, the Americans will be annoyed at Poland as well. Uh, so, it's probably better I did that. You know, I get uh, better defense there. Uh, right. Okay. I have here, I'm going to build an archer and I'm going to sally out with this guy. Uh, right. Uh, now, I need to start building some other things here. So, uh, I'm going to start with a granary. Um, and where am I going to park? I'm going to park the warrior there. Uh, I'll come out this way. Yeah, that's uh, definitely not terribly helpful. Uh, see, that's the thing with this kind of terrain. You can't really... The archers can defend way easy in that kind of terrain. So I kind of need to lure this guy in, but uh, I'm going to park over here. So I have a couple turns for him to heal. Right. Uh, that's a, uh, We've moved up an era. Constructing an encampment will be good. Uh, okay. So, what to go for here? Uh, oh, I've got political philosophy, so that means i got to remember to do the government thing. Now, um, okay, I'm going to go down the mysticism route so I can build temples. Uh, so, production here. Uh... Yeah, I need to start building some other stuff here. So I'm going to build a uh, monument because I want to keep the culture moving. And I'm going to uh, bring the archer around. And there's a new government available. Now, since I'm not planning war, I'm actually going to go with Classical Republic. Uh, so uh, there we go. Now... Uh, there is a, uh, this one reduces the cost of my army, so that's worth it. Two influence points toward envoys that I can send to city-states for influence is definitely uh, good. And I have to choose that one or Diplomatic League. That one's the better one. Uh, and I still want the one plus one production, but I can get an extra two gold from from trade routes. And that I th uh, that's worth doing at this point. Two gold is a lot at this point in the game. So now I'm up to eight gold per turn. Uh, and that makes things a, a bit easier. So I'm, And again, I can't do nothing with that guy. But I'm going to swap with, uh, with that guy. So now he can heal. Uh, oh, this guy can move one more space, so I'll do that. Uh, right, so... Uh, that's uh, I've got a decent defensive uh, uh, military here now so that's good uh, right so uh, get if I can get this archer around here I can deal with those barbarians over there uh, anyway I'll uh, bring this guy up here this guy that now can't run as far zone of control and all that stuff Ah, the Americans have decided to have a war, and so have the Egyptians. Okay, this is going to be annoying. Uh, but that gets me the boost for defensive tactics. I, I was expecting a war at some point. Um, right. Okay, so i got to deal with these uh, uh, barbarians... 
uh, is they're, they're just in the way. Um, and I definitely need to be building walls now. Uh, I knew I was going to lose that warrior just because, you know, so th that kind of a setup is just uh, brutal. Now, uh, what I can do is I can attack there. That's uh, unfortunate, but I'll... Because I want to kill the uh, ranged units when I can. Uh, so like this is uh, why you want to have the, the defensive setup. Um, the Americans aren't going to be able to reach me through Poland easily, so... Uh, so that should be okay. Uh, right. So now that that I've had war declared on me, I kind of should uh, get my uh, fighting capability up. So uh, horsemen aren't really as useful as you might hope. Uh, swordsmen are, but uh, what you get from going through the wheel is also very useful. That gets you toward uh, uh, crossbows and, and, and that sort of thing. Uh, military tradition gets flanking, so that's definitely worth doing. Uh, right, so now I'm going to start building walls. And now I can send envoys. Um, be worth sending to, uh, Mohenjo-Daro. Um, Now I'm going to go for, uh, try to get up to suzerain status at Buenos Aires. That gets you uh, bonus resources behave like luxury resources. So uh, that one's a useful uh, bonus. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Okay, I'll be able to kill this. Uh, that'll be good. Okay, so I, I kill that. Uh, right, so walls is what I said I, I was going to do. I need that guy to heal. Uh, you know what, I'll just leave the archer there. Uh, Nubia is apparently in the game. Uh, so, okay, so that's uh, four of my seven opponents. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm probably going to need entertainment complexes first, so I'll uh, do that. Uh, walls there. Uh, right, so I'll, I'll, I'll bring this uh, archer down. Right, now what? Okay, so engineering would allow me to build catapults, uh, which ultimately lead to artillery. Uh, uh, writing gets me the campus. I'm going to get writing, uh, so I don't uh, get too far behind on that. Um, now there's the uh, archer that uh, is damaged. So if he doesn't move... Okay, oh, I can kill the archer this, this time around. Uh, so that uh, gets me some safety there. Again, walls. Uh, so that's... Uh, you definitely want to get those walls up early. Uh, like, especially if you're at war. You want to get those walls up because it makes your, it gives you your, uh, your ranged attack uh, from your cities. Uh, okay, now I'm going for iron working. Um, right. Uh... Water mill is plus production. Oh, I'll definitely want the water mill in uh, Manchester. Uh, and you can see I, I've got the uh, uh, issue with amenities. Um, right, I can buy a builder here and sort that. Uh, okay, now we'll get up there. 
Uh, right, so uh, that's good. Uh, now I can uh, move over here and try to deal with that. Uh, so I will. Okay, so I'm going to, after this turn, I think, I'm going to uh, call it here. Um, now, well, I guess this turn. Um, right. Uh, okay, so I can attack there and I can take the promotion there and that's where I'm gonna call it for net for this part I'm gonna try and keep these parts under an hour uh, so this is turn 74 out of a maximum of 500 the turns will get slower as the game moves on but anyway I'm going to save the game. And I'm going to call that the end of the part here. So I'll see everybody back. Well, I guess I won't see, but uh, you, you'll see me back, I guess, uh, in part two. And uh, thank you for watching so far.